Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to the Brooklyn Born Tarot. Thanks for being here. I'm really grateful to have you. Please, please hit that like and subscribe button. It is so vitally important, and I appreciate it very much. As usual, don't be a gavone. Sharing is caring, so take only what resonates you with, with you and leave the rest for someone else. Time is linear. These readings are timeless. When you come across it is when you are meant to see it. Also, we are gender neutral. Please apply the energies to your situation, whether I say he or she. Okay? That note, let's get going. It's with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good, for the collective, for my Gemini, for the min monthly check ins for July 2022. Hi, Gemini. How are you guys? I love you. Okay, here we go. Gemini. Okay, we're coming right out with the Prince of Wands. Great. Wands. Fire. Let me just make sure you can see that. That's excellent. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the Prince. So, he's a player from a layer. Charming, daredevil, smooth operator. Handsome, full of himself. This donates... This Donate, d <laughs> oh boy, I can't speak today, sorry. This is Leo, so there could be a Leo involved with this, okay? Let's see, what is your challenge? Probably staying away from this player. Tells you what you want to hear. Already looking where he's going before he's even finished where he's been. This is my narcissist card, okay? Just be careful. What the hell that was, but okay, that's confirmation. Chariot. Moving slow as shit. That's what they're doing. Okay? So, your, your challenge is to move very slow in this situation with this Prince of Wands so you don't get hurt. Alright? The chariot's in reverse. So, even though they may be telling you what you want to hear, don't believe it. Watch what they do, not what they say. Yeah? Okay? Watch what people do, not what people say. And like I say all the time, when somebody shows you who they are, you better damn well believe it. Believe it. Leopards do not change their spots. Okay, come on, show me. Show me. Show me. Thank you. Please and thank you. I saw a flipper in there. Let's flip it back because it didn't flip by itself. I'm going to take this one on. Some of the cards and they go by themselves. Oh, no. Come on, spirit. Work with me here. Ancestors, could you give spirit a good Brooklyn kick in the ass here? Thank you. We got the princess of swords. So swords is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys are coming into your own reading. We had another flipper here. This princess... She's straightforward. She's a doer. Don't overthink is smart. She takes no shit. Look at how serious that face is. Okay, her sword is up. She's ready. All right. Then you got the seven of wands standing your ground. So you know what this is saying right here. This is as clear as day. Prince of Wands, narcissist player from Malaya. Take your time. Think about this. Use your head over your heart and stand your ground. All right. Stand your ground. Don't let them bullshit you. Okay. Don't let anybody bullshit you. This is what I'm hearing. Boy, did that one sound like my grandmother. And Delilah is confirming that. So there you go. Okay. The world. Well, there's going to be complete success in this situation. You know what? <laughs> Nobody's getting over on you, are they? Are they, Gems? I don't think so. You guys are way too smart for that. Six of Cups. This is nostalgic. Yeah, you're going to feel a little mocus about this. You might feel a little melancholy, you know. The Six of Cups is nostalgic, being nostalgic. But it doesn't do you no good. Think about it for a minute and let it go. Keep moving forward in a positive direction. The past is the past for a reason, right? Never know what a new day brings. There we go. The Empress. Well, look, the new... <laughs> New day can bring complete abundance. The Empress is all abundance, okay? She's the queen of the world. 
She's all four queens in one. She is not just ruling an empire. She rules the world. So there you go. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Because you have abundance coming in here. That's all in your environment. Okay? Look around. And complete success. God bless you. I'm so happy for you guys. I love to see my people happy. Here we go. Show me. Show me. Ooh, that one flew out. Prince of Cups. Okay, this is water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a good prince. This is like the big brother. He's serious, mysterious, warm, friendly, helpful, charming. Okay, he's not taking no shit. He's not in for any games. All right? And that's a good thing. Right? Nobody needs any game plays around like that. Not one person. Okay? Especially not in this world today, right? In this world today is something else. Here we go. Oh, the King of Swords. Okay, so here we go. Gemini. Libra Aquarius. This is Gemini. You came into your own reading. The thinker. Loyal. Logical. A good listener. Organized. Efficient. So, the most likely outcome of this situation is you're going to be fully into yourself, feeling your power. Four of Swords is fear and anxiety. It might make you a little fearful because maybe you never felt so good before. But that's okay. We could do that. Fear. Face everything and run. Face every, everything and rise. Spirit and ancestors, please help me to deliver quite clear and concise clarifications for my... Gemini. Here we go. One more shuffle. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ancestors. Here we go. Show me. Show me this Prince of Wands. What are we doing here? Why are we being the player from uh, Malaya over here, huh? What are we doing? What are we doing? A Leo card. Here we go. Eight of Swords. Okay, so, you know, huh, overthinking this. You're overthinking this. I would be too. Because if somebody as hot as that was coming at me, but I knew I couldn't trust them, of course you want what you want. However, this is self-imposed overthinking. Stop overthinking when you already know the answers. You already know the answers. Don't overthink it. Unbind yourself from that. You step right out of the swords, okay? Step right out of it. There is, you know, emotions involved in this because there's water here. See? Okay. It's too many cards. Show me this Eight of Swords, please. Show me this Eight of Swords. It's like one card we need. Thank you. The Knight of Swords. Okay. So this is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again. You've got the King of Swords. Then you got the Knight of Swords. This Knight is straightforward. He's a doer. He's an adventurer. Efficient, organized. All right. He's rushing in with his sword up. But then again, he's rushing. So we don't like anybody who's rushing. We like slow, steady, methodical, and solid, right? And maybe that's what you're overthinking. Do I go with this prince? Do I go with this knight? They're both a little on the risky side. I'm not going to lie to you. We don't bullshit yeah. you here on this, on this channel. <coughs> All right, guys. And there's the dogs <coughs> clarifying that. I'm not overdoing these videos just because they're making noise. Excuse me. Now you got the hangman. Okay, this hangman is concentration, pause, weighing your options and your choices. So you, so you know, this is as clear as day. Okay, you might have to take a minute to yourself and put yourself in a timeout to make a clear because you're overthinking choice on what is going to be best for you. Always do what is best for you, okay? The most healthiest thing. Excuse me for one minute. I need to take care of uh, our, our protectors here. Okay? Here we go. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. Let me see. Now, the chariot verse. So that means this is a very slow thing going on. A slow process. And it's next to the hangman. So take your time while you're thinking. You, you, know, you don't have to rush for anybody. Take as long as you need to take in this time out, in this hangman position, to figure out what it is that it is that you that you have to do for yourself, okay? That's it. I put him in reverse, but he wasn't. He came out upright. So let's fix him. Okay. 
No quick decisions, okay? Gemini's, you guys are really smart, so you know the deal. Here we go. Seven of Cups, because look at all the choices you're going to have. This is why you got to wait a minute and take a time out and pause and reflect. Concentrate on what's best for you, because you got so many choices. Which cup are you going to choose? They all look like they got something good in it. They all do. And let's see, we're going to take these off. So you got the Two of Wands, which is, you know, inspiration. You are going to be inspired. I would be inspired too if I had all those choices, right? Then you got, I'm going to save this one. This one comes out last. This is the next one that came out. The King of Swords. Yeah, baby. This king, he's, again, a Gemini. You're coming into your own reading. This is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This guy's the thinker of the king. This is the thinker king. He's logical, creative, organized, efficient. Okay? His sword is up. He's serious. He's not mean, but it's head over heart. He does not take any bullshit. And then you got the Ace of Swords. So we all know what this is, right? The bake through... The truth, I call this facts. This is facts, okay? Just the facts. What's with this Princess of Swords here? What is this Princess of Swords doing? Another air card, right? She's really serious, too. This one's, look at the serious face on this one. She's not screwing around at all. I wouldn't be either. You're in a lot of your energy here, though. You got the King of Swords, Princess of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords twice came out. The King of Swords twice came out. And he's just, uh, you know, yeah. Stay in your energy. Spirit saying, stay in your energy. Use your head, head over heart. Your heart will get you in trouble every time. Show me this Princess of Swords. Show me this Princess of Swords. Be smart. Don't let anybody come in there tricking you where you're going to have to stand your ground. Don't do it. Don't do it and don't do it. Come on, Princess of Swords. Let's go. Show me. Okay, thank you. Queen of Cups. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This queen is the mommy, all right? She's loving, helpful, charming, supportive, warm, mysterious. So, you know. This is already one, two, three. This is about four different people in here. Five. There's like a lot of people involved in this. So maybe that's why you got to take this time out and pause and reflect and make sure you're making the right choices and stand on your ground. Don't let anybody bullshit you, okay? But keep your heart open and full of love, okay? That's what a Queen of Cups is about. You don't have to get bitter. You can get better, right? Show me. Here we go. Ace of Pentacles, oh yeah. Okay, so this is a new beginning. So this is what, I'm coming right in next to the Ace of Swords. So this is what it is. You have to choose which way you want to go to start a new beginning, okay? And what Spirit is telling you here, because it's written all over the cards, is to make sure you use your head over your heart this time, okay? Because if you've ever used your heart first and didn't think logically through, you might have got hurt. This time, use your head over your heart. Think about the long-term future. Not just instantaneous self-gratification, okay? You got the Six of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups is nostalgic. So you're not going to be nostalgic about this anymore. Once you make this decision with this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning, you're out of it. That's it. No more nostalgia. You're moving forward fast. Ah, see now that one flipped. Okay, so seven of wands. You got to stand your ground, right? You're going to have to be strong to do this. This is a Leo involved in here now. So you got a few signs in here, definitely. Um, you might have to draw some... You're going to have to... That might. You're going to have to draw from your inner strength to stand your ground over here, okay? Do it. You got it. Use your head. Move forward in a positive direction. Head over heart. Show me. Show me. Ah, my own. Okay, so now you got the Ace of Cups, but it came out in reverse. The Ace of Cups is joining in a piece. So maybe you're not, you know, if you stand in your ground and you have to show all this inner, inner strength to get over this thing, how could you be peaceful and joyful? Nobody will, right? But this isn't going to stay this way. So make sure you come to the right conclusion so we can flip this card back around for you. Maybe at the next reading, that would be a wonderful thing. I want to see all my people happy. Ace of Cups. Show me this Ace of Cups in reverse. <sighs> Why are we not peaceful? Turmoil. That's turmoil. You're in turmoil. Maybe because of these decisions you have to make between all these people. 
But you know, if you think about it, that's a nice thing. Look at all the people you have to choose from, right? Some people have nobody. Let's see. Hard to choose though, right? I know. I feel your pain, Jem. Let's go. One more. Show me. Come on, ancestors. Please and thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you got the Page of Swords. Pages usually are younger people. Okay, this also popped out with it, but we'll wait a minute on that. Okay, and then again, Swords is air energy. I mean, so this is, this is air all over this. This page is eager. He falls in love quickly, but he also gets easily bored. You know, he's the weekend warrior. He's worried about a good time. Not a long time, you know. So be careful of this younger person. You also could have some incoming information very quickly. So I'd be on my uh, P's and Q's about that. And then you got the Queen of Swords. This is air, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I just want to point out to you that the Queen of Swords is coming out next to the Queen of the King of Swords. So that's divine counterparts. So make sure you're picking the right one because one of them is your divine counterpart here. And she's actually facing her king. See this? She's facing the king. So, there you go. Gemini, Gemini written all over this. And it's, it's going to be successful, right? Because we got the world here. Let's see what the world has to say. Let's see what the success is. What's the success? Show me. What's the success? Thank you. The world. Art here. Let's see today. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. Perseverance. You're not going to allow... This success is going to come to you very easily. It's not something you're going to have to persevere about. Okay? Because you're going to already know what to do here. You, you already know what to do here. you got divine counterparts here. Okay? Just make sure you pick the right one. Take your time. Take as long as you need to take to think about this. So that you're making the right decision for yourself. Don't worry about anybody else. You, you have to always look out for number one. Because that's what everybody else does, right? Now here, yeah, this is too many cards. I can't take all these cards. That would be crazy. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Show me this nine of cups. Come on. Here we go. Thank you. Temperance. Temper your emotions. Well, that's almost like, you know, the hangman. Take a time out. And it comes... <laughs> ironically enough, I said that it comes out right underneath that hangman. Take your time and think about this. It Don't bite your tongue. Do not jump to conclusions. Do not react quickly. Think about what you're doing. Temper your emotions. That's what this is. Temperance. This is, you know, I may feel this way, but I'm going to think about it before I act on it. Make sure I'm making the right decisions. And Gemini, you're the biggest thinkers of all the Zodiac, so you got this. Do we need one more on this? Sure, why not? Why not? We'll give you one more. Three is the magic number, right? The Holy Trinity. Let's see. Just in case you didn't know it, that's why they usually pull three on every card because it is the Holy Trinity. Yeah, I just taught you something. Hold on. Temperance. There we go. Knight of Cups coming in. Okay, so this knight is water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. He's like the big brother. Warm, mysterious, helpful, charming. Communitive. Could have information coming in. However, this knight is steady and solid. See? His horse is coming in on a nice, solid pace. Very humble. His cup is up. His shoulders are back. His head is high. He's proud and he's solid. Okay? So you got a few people to choose from here. Lucky you. Lucky you. Some people have nobody. Let's see what the judgment is because you're calling it. You're calling judgment. There's going to be a breakthrough. There is going to be a breakthrough. There's a flipper. There's the King of Cups. Okay, well, here we go. So now again, now we got the King of Cups. Water, again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This king is the daddy. Who's your daddy? He's your daddy. Family man, loving, fair, balanced, creative, open-minded, helpful, charming. So you got an offer of love, three or four, seven or eight offers of love coming in here. You know, take your time. And you see this Knight of Cups is coming in. This king could be sending this knight with a message about how much he loves you. Who knows? Only you will know this for your personal situation. Okay? There's definitely love involved in this because that's cups and there's a lot of water here. Okay? And these are the facts. Okay? Just in case you didn't know it. Plus, you got divine counterparts here. I mean, you know. 
One more for this is the Seven of Swords. So that is Air at G again, and Seven is dishonesty. So somebody in this group here of people is dishonest. So make sure you don't pick this, this the dishonest one, even though maybe it's the hottest one out of the bunch. Who knows, right? It's not about lust. This is about using your head, and Gemini, you are known for, known for that, all right? So use your head and make the right decision. Now this Empress, this abundance, because you make the right decision, you're making it towards abundance, I promise you. I promise you. Okay, let's see the Empress. Let's see the Empress. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Four Pentacles, well, that's holding on tightly to something. You're gonna be... You're going to be holding on tightly to this abundance is what you're going to be holding on tightly to, okay? Look how look how hard this guy's holding on to something. Don't let everybody know what you have, what you're doing. Keep your, keep your business to yourself. Hold on tightly to your own personal... Don't... Everybody does not have to know what you're thinking, okay? Because once you're in abundance, then that's when everybody's hands come out, right? Doesn't necessarily mean you're being greedy. You're just watching out for yourself. So a lot of different ways to read that card, okay? And in this day and age, you got to be very careful about holding on to what's yours. People will chop you up and eat you up nowadays. They don't care, right? This world turns into a very difficult place. However, we are going into 5D. It's changing. So get on the right side of that because you don't want to be left behind. Trust me. Four of Pentacles. Here we go. Show me. Show me this Four of Pentacles. Come on. Tonight. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Let's get this over with. All right, ancestors. Let's give spirit a kick in the ass. Show them that it's time to go. Here we got a, a flipper. We got the nine of pentacles. Well, that's success. This all looks like you're going to be secure in a bag, too, because you got some, some, you're going to be successful at this. Whatever this is, whatever dishonesty this is, you're going to take a time out. You're going to think about this, and you are going to be totally successful in this situation. You really are. Just be careful who you're picking. Are you picking the Prince of Cups, the King of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of the King of the King of Cups? I mean, you got you know, it's all boy, boy, boy. You got a lot of people to choose from. This is going to be a very difficult uh, decision. So just take your time in making that choice. That's all. You got another King over here too. King of Swords came out twice. Swords is your energy. It's right next to the Queen. So make sure you're picking the right one because that one is your divine counterpart. Everybody else is, you know. It's not, it's not your divine counterpart. Okay, here we go. Two of Pentacles, weighing your options. What did I just tell you? Take your time out. Thank you for clarifying, Spirit. I love you so much. Take time out. Weigh your options, okay? Because you're going to need some balance here. Because you don't know which one to pick, do you? Do you? Meditate. Stay in a quiet state. Go out for a walk in the woods. Take a salt bath. Because you don't want to be in this stress and anxiety. That's the Nine of Swords. Stress and anxiety. We don't need this, okay? Nobody wants to be full of stress. Up all night wondering what the hell to do. Just calm down. Relax. And all your answers will come to you. They are all inside of you. Trust me. God will speak to you. And Seven of Wands. So you again, you will... Uh, like, you're going to have to stand your ground. I think we just had that Seven of Wands, didn't we? Yeah, look. Seven of Wands came out right under the Seven of Wands. You're going to have to stand your ground in whatever decision you make. So in other words, what I'm saying is whatever decision you make, you're going to have to stand by it. No matter what anybody says, they try to talk you out of it. Somebody else comes in and says, oh, no, don't pick him, pick me. Or her. Like I said, gender neutral. Stand your ground. So whatever decision you make, stand by it. Especially if you know it's the right one for you. Don't worry about pleasing other people. Okay, because nobody's worried about pleasing you. Everybody's in it for themselves. I promise you this. What's the seven of wands? This is death in reverse. Okay, so ending in transition upright. This is this is in reverse, meaning that there is no ending in transition. This means that it's it's it. Whatever you come to, whatever decision you come to, that's gonna be it. There's not gonna be no coming back from it, okay? When I turn it back for me. Show me this King of Swords. May I please see the King of Swords and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. 
Come on now. Oh, great. Two at a time. And they came out like this. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, my God. Okay, so the Six of Wands in reverse. The Six of Wands is victory and public recognition. So you're not going to feel like you're being very victorious because it's a lot to choose from. However, the sun came out. The sun is complete and ultimate happiness. So in the end of all this, through all this turmoil and all this, you know, agita and aggravation you're going to get, the sun is coming out and you're going to be happy. I don't even want to pull another one on that. That's the happiest part in the deck. You know what? We're not going to. At the bottom, you got the five of swords, which is aggression. Don't let anybody be aggressive towards you if you happen to choose to turn them away and to pick your divine counterpart. Okay, let's see what Kippa wants to add to this. Let's just make sure we don't have any dragon oracles in there. Kippa, could you please put your two cents into this, please? Help our gems out so that they could be better for ones. You know, towers like a roadmap. This way you're aware of these situations. If they arise, it's supposed to help you make better decisions because you're, you're aware of it. Come on, Kippa. Give me your two cents. What do you got to say? What do you got to say about this? You got something you want to add here or what? Oh, yeah, that seems like it does. Okay, well, the courthouse. Okay, so you got mature man. There could be a mature man involved in this. If you know somebody that looks like that, they could be involved in this, Okay. Also, courthouse. There could be some legalities involved. Okay? Numbers 5, number 23. I don't know if that means anything to anybody. I'm not a numerologist. A lot of other things, but not a numerologist. Okay? Clairvoyant, clairsentient. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There could be a child involved in this. Maybe that has something to do with the courthouse. Or maybe you're dealing with some immature asshole. Who knows? Right? Because that could say that too. But there could be a child involved. The number 18 is involved. Somebody could be 18, 23. Or somebody could be extremely immature or naive. Or maybe somebody's looking at this new new son situation with the eyes of a child. Like, like it's a brand new life, right? One more, Kipper. One more. Let's keep it positive. Keep it positive. And we have a wealthy man. Well, maybe this mature man is a wealthy man. Look how good looking this person looks. And uh, it's going to involve some legalities. Maybe you're being left in somebody's will. Maybe there's going to be some kind of a court case where you're going to win some kind of money that you know about already. But be careful. There could be a thief around you. Okay? Somebody with some sticky fingers. Can't tell you how much we hate that around here. Okay, let's see. Let me just get these hidden truths and see if there's any messages that somebody or anybody wants you to know that maybe they don't want to say. So the cards will tell you. Let's make sure they're all in the upright position because I really don't like reversals, even though I read them because it is important too. A lot of people don't. But I always make sure my cards are in the upright position when I start. And if the reversals come out, it's for a reason, right? Let's go. Any hidden truths? What do we got to add? What do you want to say? You got any anything to put into this? Open your mouth now or forever hold your peace, right? What are the hidden truths? What are the hidden truths? Help my Geminis out here. I know that I crossed the line with you. Well, somebody did. Somebody crossed the line with somebody. Whether it was you crossing the line with somebody or somebody crossing the line with you, there was a line that was crossed. Okay, and once the line's crossed, don't throw another one for them to cross again. That's it. Okay, there we go. Come on, let's go. Any more hidden truths? Let's go. Let's go. I thought I saw a flipper in there. There it is. It says, I hid who I really am from you. Well, it don't it doesn't everybody do that? That's just the way it goes, right? That's what I told you. When somebody shows you who they are, believe it. People will pretend to be who they're not just to get you where they want you, and then all of a sudden, bam, there they are. The monster comes out, right? Let's see. Anything else? Any more? Nope. Any more? Any more? Any more? Okay, we're going to do this. We can't no more. 
I look for you everywhere. I remember that detail of every day. And the timing just wasn't right for us. Okay, that's it, Jem. So I wish you all the best of luck. Make the right decisions. The ultimate happiness and success could be the final outcome of this situation if you just sit back, breathe, take a minute, weigh your options, and make the right choices. I'd like to thank you all for being here. Please, again, hit that like and subscribe button. It is so important and I'm so appreciated. If you would like to make a donation or book a personal reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God. Until next time, Gemini, I love you guys. Love and light.